Hi, this is JP with Status Magazine. I'm currently here in Copenhagen at the trade fair and uh, I'm here at um, Barbara Gungini's uh, booth uh, here at the, one of the trade fairs in Copenhagen. And uh, I'm checking out her current, um, her upcoming collection, Spring Summer 2012. So here's a peek at her um, amazing collection. It's uh, mostly, you know, black, which I love and I'm sure you guys love though. And this is her um, diffusion line that's more basic than uh, the other pieces. And guess who's right next to me? It's Barbara Gungini herself, the person behind the amazing label Barbara Gungini. How are you, Barbara? I'm fine. It's nice to be here and to, to finally meet you in person is a dream, you know, for most people. But uh, I'm, I'm happy to meet you and I didn't expect that you're like really like super calm and super, you know, nice in person. No, thank you so much. Uh -huh. That's really cute. Because, mm -hmm. you know, so like... It's nice to, to meet you as well. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, I have this idea before that, you know, like... Bar, you know, like your label, Barbara Gungini, it's all black. So I had this feeling you're like this, like really like crazy person. Yeah, go off. Uh, yeah, and then I see you. Yeah, obviously you're dressed in black. But other than that, take away the black, you you look like an angel. Oh, thanks so much. Really. <laughs> yeah. Um, Barbara, could you tell us more about uh, your brand? Like, what's your aesthetic and uh, who's your market um, and stuff like that? We consider this to be a very Nordic avant-garde brand, mm -hmm. in a way, um, and it's definitely avant-garde. Like we know, it's all the way back when the Japanese were really ruling the, the stage. Mm -hmm. So there is this little um, wave of uh, avant-garde here in the Nordic, uh, uh -huh. and uh, it's maybe slightly more poetic in a way, uh, uh, but um, um, we have been working with. Uh, for instance, uh, the, the square for a long time, that has been, I, I felt it to be a very uh, limited and closed uh, form and uh, mm -hmm. I thought this must be a challenge to open uh -huh. this. Uh, and it's always nice to have something different, you know, yeah, that's very for a change, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Since uh, a lot of Scandinavians, they they like the, just the basic, simple ones, so it's, all, it's always nice there's something different, you know, to offer the market. Yeah, I do agree with you. And this is also very typical maybe for the, the avant-garde stage to have a concept. To, yes. And I thought, no, I will try to limit it totally down and, uh, and see how long, uh, if this is a good source and how long it will stay open. And this is actually the ninth season that we are exploring the square. And I think it keeps on uh, evolving. evolving. And it's an uh, interesting um, journey to take for us. That's great to know. Um, yeah. Could you tell us uh, more about your current collection and what makes it different from your previous collections? Well, um, this season we have been wor uh, working uh, a lot uh, inside the form. Like, um, I can maybe show you an example. Okay, sure. That would be lovely. Yeah. Like, for instance, uh, <coughs> a dress like this one. Um, which is maybe the, the simplest uh, of this uh, particular series. Uh -huh. Simpler. It, huh? Yeah, <laughs> we, simpler. we consider it uh, <laughs> simple yeah. um, because it's just two squares. It's very effortless in uh -huh. a way. Yeah. And then um, so the, maybe a bit more complex. Complex, where it's, yes. Yeah, it's still um, a lot of squares uh -huh. uh, put together. And right. you, you still...